on the count of three, can we welcome your incredible headline act? One, two, three! Please welcome the stage, it's Russell Hayes! And you can see <laughs> Do I feel I need to be politically correct? In my comedy, yeah, I think if you're gonna mention someone, you better get their name right. Absolutely, man. I mean, it's important, you know. Um, you you can't go on stage and uh, talk about, uh, you know, your king Boris Johnson, and get something like his name wrong because that'd be embarrassing, you know, since he's your ruler. So yeah, because I'm American and people always ask me about Donald Trump. They always like come up to me and say. Uh, weird things like someone said to me i think donald trump's gonna get assassinated i was like um well that's pretty aggressive and also no he won't because the people who voted for him are the people who shoot presidents <laughs> you know that right like he's got all the guns on his side that's not how liberal people protest we're just not like that we set up an art project in the middle of the street like extinction rebellion <laughs> Everybody dressed like dolphins and spit water in the air. <laughs> this represents global warming. <laughs> we showed them. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Am I an activist? Um, yeah, you know, I like to stay pretty fit. So, I mean, I'm at the gym six days a week at least, absolutely. Absolutely, um, you know, and uh, I do my best. I really do. You guys look like activists. You getting involved, are you? Yes. They have saxophones. Like Excuse me? <laughs> I want you to take your time and reformulate that sentence. <laughs> Seemed like you just outed your friends for having sex with dolphins. Yes, they have sex with dolphins. I think you're really confused as to what activism is. Uh, yes, we are activists. We fuck dolphins regularly. So, I think that's doing a pretty good job nurturing nature, am I right? That's a new level of activism. We've been living in the jungle for years, talking off apes. What? Yes, it's a new breed of activist. Get on board. <laughs> Yeah, what did you say? <laughs> you said they impersonate dolphins. Yeah, so let's go back to the beginning. I like that. This is like a court case now. I love it. And then you said, this is the end of my career. This is where I'm going to be. You're going to go on social media afterward and be like, I was animal shamed. <laughs> and I'm going to be in court. And then you said, sir. And then these girls merely pointed out that they fuck animals, which is their right. <laughs> Feminism 2020, I'll fuck whoever I want. That's how bad we've blown it, man. They're on dolphins now. <laughs> These dolphins are cleaning up. We didn't know what we had. Now they're out there in the ocean. All right, what'd you say? I've given up on any of you going with me on this stuff. <laughs> a lot of people were behind, like, are we still, is it dolphins? What? Why are we there? So we said, yes. they're not impersonating dolphins, they have sex with bugs. Yeah. <laughs> the description was even more confusing than the original. <laughs> a beautiful sentiment, though. I absolutely love that as like a fra as a catchphrase. Fair enough, dressing up like dolphins, they have sex for fun. <laughs> this is a great point. Tell me you wouldn't want to do hallucinogens with that girl right there. <laughs> Phrases like that coming out of her mouth on the regular. <laughs> Just throw that phrase. I'll tell you what, everybody, here's your homework for the rest of the week. At, at some point in your life, throw that phrase into casual conversation. <laughs> I don't know, Kristen, what'd you think of the film? Well, fair enough dressing up like dolphins, they have sex for fun. <laughs> All right, girls, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, do people ever say anything weird to me on stage? Uh, you know, I don't know. To be honest, I'm not listening to the audience. 
I'm listening to myself and um, I am, um, because the thing you don't understand is I can hear what I've said before I've said it. So actually, unlike the audience, I get to enjoy it twice, mm. you know? I mean, I know it's coming. Quite honestly, it's hard for me not to laugh before I've even said it. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. That is, you warn me next time. Fuck. That's what I love, man. I love that. This is liberal London. You know what I'm saying? This is the kind of thing you get when you live in this city. We are the most liberal city in the world. Am I right? It's a beautiful feeling. Ironically, we hate people. <laughs> you ever notice that? We will defend their right to be, do, and say whatever they want, but we hate them. Everybody in London's like, I believe in LGBT, LMNOP, QRS. <laughs> but if there's a little old lady in front of you and you're trying to get the Piccadilly line, you'll throw that bitch in the tracks. <laughs> British people's opinion of Americans, hmm, well, as far as I can tell, and I read the news every day, they love us. And we're happy to have it. My favorite British TV show has to be the American version of The Office. 100 classic. Where I'm from, like, you've got the big cities, which are like, super liberal but totally rude and then you go to these little redneck towns they're really nice to you and everybody's crazy and racist right <laughs> dude seriously you go to they're like hey come on inside you've seen texas chainsaw massacre right <laughs> oh y'all broken down get in here come on we'll help you next thing you know you're in a basement somewhere in london people wouldn't last five minutes be like i haven't heard a podcast in weeks <laughs> They're feeding us, but it's not organic, hell. Um, you know what? People think Americans are stupid, all right? And, uh, you know, we, we're not, okay? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very uh, cultured. I watch all kinds of porn. That's the thing about Americans, by the way. That's why everybody thinks we're stupid. We don't get your references. Because when you export something to America, you change it. I don't know who does it, but somebody changes it, right? When we export stuff to you, we don't change it at all. We go, there you go, figure it out. That's why you know all of our references, you know everything about us. When you gave us the Harry Potter books, you had Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone was the first book, right? And then when they gave it to us, they changed it to Sorcerer's Stone. You didn't, yeah, you didn't think we could handle that? I mean, how dumb do you think we are? Pelopsers, what? What's a Pelopser? He's gay, I know that. Some gay ass wizard. <laughs> Take this book, Travis. Pull! Shh, shh. Boom! <laughs> Woo! Good old book shooting on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> you remember? Yeah, you damn right. You remember what I told you, boy? You don't need no book learning. Yeah, that's right, boy. I'll tell you what else. Fair enough, dressing up like a dolphin. <laughs> they have sex for fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Porpoise. I like that word, porpoise. Mmm. That's ocean for pussy. <laughs> that's ocean talk. Um... Am I cultured? Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, I've, I've been everywhere. Um, I have been to most white nations. So I think I know what I'm talking about. You know, I'm very, very cultured. I have been to York. I have seen far off reaches of, uh, of the world. Um, I was in a place the other day called Swansea. You know, I will, I will often have a kebab. So I think that answers your question. I travel around by train a lot. I hate flying. And I got, I got stuck, uh, you know, I was, I was traveling, I went through France recently, I was in Spain. Which, by the way, why is the whole world so divided right now? Everywhere I go, man, people hate each other in a confined space. I was in Barcelona, I went to Catalonia, and I went up to the lady there and I said, Barcelona es muy bonita. And she was like, I am Catalan! I hate the Spain! I was like, listen, I'm American. To me, you're both Mexican. <laughs> A 
let's all relax. <laughs> Obviously, I know the difference between Mexicans and Spanish is burritos and tapas. <laughs> one is a super filling meal, the other one is just a little snack. <laughs> Actually, someone told me that a burrito is an American invention. The Mexicans didn't invent that. Yeah, it makes sense if you think about it. I imagine a Mexican made a beautiful spread for an American, like I've got you some beans, rice, jalapenos. And he was like, okay, shut up. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to take all of that, roll it up into one big old piece of carpet. I'm gonna eat it in one bite. You better shut your mouth too, Jorge. I'll stick you in there with it. Little legs sticking out. And, uh, what's the... Sorry, who are you again? What do you do? I work in finance. You working in finance, of course. What, are you going to rock up looking like this? You haven't earned it yet. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. When you get to the point that you're running that place, you can be a little more eccentric. You show up in something like this. Maybe with the snowboard guy. <laughs> Just hanging out for good measure. <laughs> Working in finance, cool. And you're in there with him, huh? Right next to him. Right next to him, hell yeah. <laughs> this is like a Netflix drama. <laughs> you guys are both on the phone. Sell, sell! <laughs> is that what you guys do? Is that what it's like? It's not, is it? It's probably really boring. I want you guys to be in headsets, walking around, you just going, dude, you're busting my balls, Joe. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Joe. They always say weird stiff t stuff to them. They'll be like, hey man, don't put your dick in my mouth and call it a sandwich. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> but it's not like that, is it? It's a little British finance place, so you're probably just like, I was thinking of going to Itsu for lunch. <laughs> I mean, look, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I'm known. And uh, there really isn't an open mic in this country that I can walk into and not be mauled, you know, by somebody in an Avengers t-shirt. So, you know, yeah. So you're a powerful woman. <laughs> Feminism 2020. I said you're a powerful woman, and you went, yes, I know. <laughs> Yes, Cynthia. Oh, I wish you would have said yes, I know. I love that. I love that you zoned out into your own little K-hole. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> like, you're so high on whatever you took that you didn't even hear me saying it. Like, your actual vagina looked up and was like, you're a powerful woman. And you're like, Yes, I know. <laughs> Get on the stage right now. They should put me in charge of TV. My shows would be great. It's a feminist show for 2020. It's a girl with a talking vagina who only says positive things to her. It's like a girl who's like really down on herself and then all of a sudden her vagina starts talking to her. And then when she starts listening to it, she can do anything. <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks that sounds like a great idea? <laughs> You'd watch it. You'd love it. I try not to use it. And you know, that's why I think I have such a low number of followers is people know that I don't want to be bothered so they don't even like me or add me you know even though I'm I'm out there and and uh you know um you know uh yeah I just uh I really don't have a lot of followers um I really don't okay I was doing a gig the other night and someone said to me, they said, because you're a tech guy, so you can verify this. They were like, hey man, if you're ever looking at porn on your cell phone, cover the camera, because the NSA are watching you. 
And I was like, first, my first thought was like, that probably this is not the information they're after. And now I'm thinking, you know what? Good. I hope there is a guy at the NSA <laughs> who spies on people all day long and every five minutes he's just got to see dudes tugging one out. <laughs> I don't even cover the camera anymore. I look right at it. <laughs> yeah, you like that? It's my privacy! <laughs> you can verify this, but that's not the worst thing about wanking on your cell phone, okay? Listen, I'm not proud of it, we all do it. But if you do it, you gotta turn your notifications off. Because you get messages from the outside world. This is not what you want when you're in that area. I got the worst one ever the other day. My dad texted me. Yeah, and it was right at the end, and it just said, I'm proud of you, son. Are you asking me about the heckler video that I got like a million hits on, or whatever? Yeah, really? Yeah? Did you not get my press junket where I specifically ask not to be asked about that? Okay, because I've done more. I've done more since then, you know? I've, I, I've written books. Uh, you know, that haven't been published, but still, you know what, this interview's over. I'm sorry, this is over. I, uh, I can't. I'm, I'm done. You know? Read, read, you know, when people send you something, you know, read it. That's all I'm saying, man. I mean, it's disinformation. Uh, you stop following me? Yeah, yeah. Alright, thanks, guys. Thanks. <laughs>